Today I'm going to show you what's inside my camera bag. After searching for about a week online through various brands and styles, I settled upon this one. This is the Manfrotto Advanced Travel Backpack and I absolutely love it. Now when searching for a camera bag, it should accommodate all of your needs, all of your gear, and all of your stuff. If it doesn't, then it's not for you. But this one is just perfect for me. It accommodates everything. All of the gear that I mentioned in this video and in the camera bag will be in the description below. And hopefully I can give you some good recommendations since I have a little bit of everything in this camera bag. The first reason why I love this camera bag is because it has a dedicated laptop sleeve. Now when you're working or traveling, it's nice to be able to import your footage and work on it at the same time. So right here the sleeve can accommodate a 15 inch MacBook Pro. On the website it says it can hold a 13 inch laptop, but however I found it easily holds my 15 inch MacBook. On the top there's this nice little pouch where I can store some of my non-camera stuff. So in here I carry things like some gum, you always need fresh breath on the photo shoot. I carry my keys, some clip-on earphones, sunglasses if it's really sunny, my wallet case which can also accommodate my iPhone, pen, it's always good to have an extra pen, and some headphones. So I can fit all of that junk in this small little pouch right on top. On the side they have these small little pouches. I don't really use them at the moment, but I'm sure I could fit some business cards or paperwork in there. On this side of the camera bag is supposed to be a tripod pouch, but instead I just dangle my tripod right off the center of my camera bag. In here I have my water bottle, because when you're a photographer, when you're talking with clients, or when you're hiking around trying to find the best spot, it's always handy to have some water. And also, way, way, way in the bottom, since this goes really deep, I have a shower cap for my backpack. No, wait. Actually, it's called a... It's called a rain protector. So when I went on Splash Mountain a couple weeks ago at Disneyland, I put this over my backpack to keep it dry, and I was actually the one sitting in the front, so I got the most wet. And this little shower cap or rain protector kept all my stuff dry. Going back to this tripod, this is the Joby Gorilla Pod. It has bendable legs, so it can fit onto almost any rugged surface, like a rock. And if you want, you can wrap it around a pole or something like that. It also has a fluid ball head, where you can position the camera at almost any angle that you like. And this is great for like traveling and for time lapses. All right, let's get to the good stuff, or the meat and potatoes. Well, let's forget the potatoes and let's get to the meat, which is the stuff inside this camera bag. This camera bag opens from the side. On this flap right here, I store an extra battery because you never want to run out of juice. And in here, I have some extra memory cards. So inside, this camera bag is broken up into three compartments. On the bottom, I have my Canon 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 lens. This is a really great all-around lens. It's great for portraits, sports, and concerts. However, it's really expensive. It costs about $2,000. If you're looking for a telephoto lens that's a little bit cheaper, check out the Tamron version of this, which is also in the description below. Otherwise, it's really fast and it's really sharp. Since that lens is so gigantic, it took up my whole bottom compartment. In this middle compartment, I have two lenses. The first one is a portrait lens. This is the Canon 85mm f1.8 lens. It's excellent for portraits, you get a really nice blurry background. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative to this one, you can get the 50mm f1.8 lens by Canon. This is about 100 bucks, so you can't go wrong with this guy. And if this guy doesn't do it for you, you can break the bank and get a $2,000 portrait lens. Check out the description below. Next is a really great all-around lens. If you're buying your first lens, I would highly recommend this one because it can do a little bit of everything and it also shoots great pictures. So this is the Tamron 24-70 f2.8 lens. This is a great multi-purpose lens because it can shoot really wide at 24 millimeters and you can zoom all the way in to 70 millimeters. In addition, it starts at f2.8 so it lets in a lot of light compared to other lenses. So this lens is great for like landscapes, portraits, sports, kids, whatever, you name it. It's a great multi-purpose lens. In the top compartment of my backpack, I have my camera strap and my camera body. 
This is a Black Rapid strap. It's an over the shoulder camera strap. So when I'm not using my camera, it just dangles to the side. And then when I need to take a picture, I just pull my camera up the strap and I can shoot a picture. And finally, here is my camera body. This is the Canon 6D. It's a full frame camera. So let me tell you a little story on why I selected this camera. I first started with Canon cameras because they were great to shoot videos with. My first camera was the Canon T3i. The equivalent today would be the Canon T6i. Now that was a really great beginner camera and after I outgrew it, I wanted to upgrade to a full frame camera. And the baseline full frame camera on Canon's lineup is the Canon 6D. The next level would be the Canon 5D Mark III. However, that camera was a few years old and I think this August they're going to be upgrading the Canon 5D Mark III to the Mark IV. And I heard that camera is supposed to have 4K video. And if it does, then I'm definitely going to upgrade from the 6D to the 5D Mark IV. Anyways, this is my camera at the moment. It shoots really well at low lights. It can shoot almost anything. It has a fast shutter speed. It focuses really quick. It's just a really nice professional camera. If you're just starting out with photography or videography, I would recommend the Canon T6i. It's a really great camera. And then when you're ready to upgrade to a full frame camera, either get the Canon 6D or the Canon 5D Mark IV when it comes out. So that's what I have inside my camera bag. If you're looking for any recommendations, check out the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.